you see these couple of blacks sitting here now? Yeah. Would you like to shoot them? Another, another times, yes. So this is where you actually crossed the street, wasn't it? Yeah, this is where I crossed the, st the street, yes. Were you shooting at this time? Uh, no, not at this stage. Who is this chef? Who is he? Uh, no, I don't know him. He's a fan. He's a fan. What's he saying? Congratulations. Yeah, he's saying congratulations. Do you speak any English? Yes, I can speak English. What were you telling him? I'm telling him congratulations. He did what, what got nobody and got the guts to do it. He did the right thing? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I find a white woman sitting in the car and the two children. Yes. So I see a black man here. He was standing here, so I pulled him away and I shot him here. So you pulled him away from the car to shoot in this direction? Yeah, in this direction so that I don't hurt the whites that were sitting in the car. What would you have done if you'd actually shot a white? It would be uh, say a disaster thing. By this stage, Stridham had shot five victims in the square. He went on to claim another six while walking down the street. Men, women, council workers, flower sellers. To him, it mattered not so long as they were black. Were you feeling good? Yes, I was feeling very good, yes. Would you like to do it again? <laughs> I think that he's in a normal situation, but uh, always yes. Tell me this, if I could give you a gun now, would you like to go over and shoot those blacks over there? Definitely, yes. While Baron Stridham now walks free, Upa Mabina will never walk again. He's one of 15 survivors of Stridham's murderous rampage. He's 44 and the father of two boys. 